That's not how you use those, Kyle. Hey, I put some new shoes on and suddenly everything's right. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. What's good YouTube, Colossus Fitness, I'm Josh. And I'm Kyle. Today we're bringing you the review to the Addy Power 2.0. So I've had these for around six months and I thought it was time to bring a review to you who have been asking about the shoe. I do not own these, I own Nike Romaleos, which we'll do later, but I have used them and I've used my friend's pair several times, so I'll give you my input. Okay, for those of you who do not know, there is a raised heel, that's its main purpose. The best thing about it is it keeps your heels nice and flat. So a lot of you guys probably know, for those of you who have heels that come up off the ground throughout your squat, you may not have proper ankle mobility. A lot of people will say to put a weight underneath, but this is an awesome fix for that problem. Now, a lot of people wonder what these are for. They hear, why would I need weightlifting shoes? What do I use them for? Can I do curls in them? What? These are best used for the high bar squat. The reason for that is they put you in a better position to sink lower in your squat, and they give you that stability that Kyle mentioned earlier. All right, so now we're gonna go over the pros and cons of this shoe. So I've noticed a drastic change in my squat. One of the main reasons is because this powerlifting shoe allows you to exert maximum force within your squat. It allows you to feel a lot more confident, which happened to me, which helped me bring in my squat a lot higher. Number two is that these are heavy duty. These are not cheap made shoes. So you can see they have a lot of premium features. They have a nice heel. It offers a lot of stability. It's very tight inside. You can see that it's very breathable. And this is very different than your average shoe that you may be squatting in where your foot's gonna be moving around. As you can see in some of Kyle's old video, his foot was shifting around there. So these are gonna keep your foot tight. What's up guys, so I just want to go a little more in depth about the actual quality of the shoe. So the first feature we have here is a polyurethane coated leather upper with breathable air mesh. So that's right here, goes all the way around, uh, and it's awesome because it actually feels like your feet can breathe in the shoe unlike a lot of other shoes where you kind of feel trapped. Now onto the heavy duty single instrap in step strap, um, that's right here, and I can confirm that it is very heavy duty. Now onto the lightweight polymer torsion heel system. Um, that is right here, and for those of you who don't, do not know, it's actually a uh, .75 of an inch uh, that, is, that it is raised right there. Next we're onto the ventilated outsole, outs, sorry I can't even speak today, ventilated outsole openings. So that's right here, and this is an awesome way to really keep the moisture out. It goes all the way around. You guys can see that uh, these shoes are white, but I've kept mine like fully crazy clean because I don't take them outside. I just keep them in the gym and I take care of them. Number three, these are very versatile. You guys saw me running around. I wouldn't use them for sprints or anything like cardiovascular, but if you're gonna do your squats and then move into some leg movements, it's not uncomfortable for you to use them for your, the rest of your workout. Um, if I'm walking around the gym for two hours wearing them, I don't feel any discomfort. Uh, they are very high tech and they feel awesome. Number four, these are aesthetically pleasing. You love girls, Myron, you could pretty much wear these out on a date and they'd say you got some pretty nice kicks. All right guys, before we dive into the cons, the golden question is, will this actually help benefit your squat? I am not paying any money unless that gives me 400 pounds in my squat. Now on to the question that you guys probably all have, will this help improve my squat? So first off, I'm gonna show you a couple reps of my squat beforehand, before Audi Powers, before I started fixing my form and all that. Um, so you guys can see that was 310, that looked horrible. Now on to 295, this was around a year ago. You guys can see my ankles are being turned inwards. Um, yes, I'm an ankle bender here. Uh, I do not look stable under the bar whatsoever. I do not look comfortable. Um, and my heels are being raised off the ground. So the power lifting shoes, uh, sorry, the Olympic lifting shoes, the Addy Powers, are said to provide greater stability throughout compound movements and therefore improve your overall form. So here you see me doing 295 with si uh, for six reps with the Addy Powers on. I look a lot more comfortable under the bar, um, a lot more stable, and I believe that's gonna you know help improve my form, which will in turn um, give me a greater squat. Uh, the weightlifting shoes have a raised heel, as you guys all know, and it is a massive advantage as it allows you to squat into a deeper position through increased 
ankle range of motion and, uh, and you know this is gonna actually help you increase your overall positioning as you'll find yourself sitting upright more. So that was 315, that was an absolute horrible rep. Um, ankles turned in once again and I just want to show you guys this is 370 so 55 pounds more. Um, I know it is a year later but like uh, my form, I'm not saying my form is the greatest but it has improved greatly uh, so there you guys have it. Alright guys for the first con it's gonna have to be the price. They are costly and you're gonna have to crack open that piggy bank. How much are they? 200 bucks. That is expensive! Well, they're really good shoes. Did you not listen to all the pros? Number two, as versatile as they are, uh, it depends on really what your goal is, but a lot of you probably won't be using these too often. So bringing it back to price, you have to question, is it worth spending the money for not using it too often? For the last con, I'm gonna say that you have to learn how to use these squat shoes. This isn't against the Adi Power specifically, but if you are a high bar squatter, you're gonna have to learn to sit back a bit more. Your first time strapping up, you might lean forward a little bit and feel a little wonky, but it's something you'll learn not necessarily con to this shoe in specific, but for those of you that don't use them, one thing to consider. One thing for you guys to remember is you're probably going to want to order these a half size smaller. They tend to be a bit bigger than your normal shoe. It's been said that these run fairly narrow around the middle of the shoe. You might want to keep them in mind. I don't find it to be negative because you do not want a lot of wiggle room in the shoe for your squats. Alright guys, thanks so much for checking into our review. If you like this, we're going to have more to come. Make sure you like this video if you guys want to see the Nike Romaleo review. And uh, hope you guys get set up with one of these shoes. Overall, we definitely say they're great shoes.